inside the top five restaurants in New York City during the Gilded Age. But before we begin, today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare stands out as a leading digital learning community, offering a multitude of captivating and imaginative courses. Whether you're interested in photography, graphic design, productivity, or even pursuing a creative business venture through freelance work or entrepreneurship, there are countless options for everyone. I was interested in joining Skillshare to learn from the top experts in their fields in order to gain a deeper understanding of the topics which interest me. Because of my work here on YouTube, I am always looking to bring you the best and the most historically accurate information in a beautiful and innovative way, especially when it comes to interior design. Though there are many classes on Skillshare that I plan to take, I am currently learning from Anna Marku, a licensed architect and home well-being expert. The current class I am taking is Home Interior Design for More Joy, Cultivating Happiness Through Decor. And so far, not only has this course positively impacted my work here on YouTube, but I also have been able to take the many lessons that she teaches and apply them to my everyday. Once I finish this class, I plan to complete her others to get a full scope of her expertise. I am also planning to take the courses known as Productivity and Time Management and Creative Confidence and Silencing Your Inner Critic. But I'd love to know which course you will pick. Because if you want to unlock your creativity and learn something new, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now back to the top five restaurants in Gilded Age, New York. At number one, we have Delmonico's. It was founded in 1827 by Swiss brothers John and Peter Delmonico. Initially named Delmonico and Brother, the restaurant began as a small cafe and pastry shop in downtown Manhattan, New York City. As Delmonico's reputation for fine cuisine grew, so did its physical presence. It expanded and relocated several times, eventually finding its permanent home at 56 Beaver Street. This location, known as Delmonico's Building, became synonymous with luxury and sophistication. The interior of Delmonico's was designed with opulence in mind. The walls were adorned with rich fabrics, ornate chandeliers, and elaborate frescoes decorated the ceilings. The specialty dining rooms were filled with elegant furnishings, including plush chairs and polished tables which created an atmosphere of refined grandeur. The extensive menu boasted a wide array of delectable dishes. Some of the favorite menu items during the time included Lobster Newberg, Delmonico's Steak, and Oysters Rockefeller. These luxurious offerings showcased the restaurant's commitment to culinary excellence and attracted a discerning clientele. Its impeccable service, lavish atmosphere, and innovative cuisine made it a destination for the wealthy and influential, quickly becoming a status symbol for fine dining and a place to be seen, attracting socialites, politicians, and prominent figures of the era. Some of the most notable patrons included J.P. Morgan, Mark Twain, Charles Dickens, and President Theodore Roosevelt. At number two, we have Sherry's. Sherry's was a prominent dining establishment during the Gilded Age, founded in 1890 by Louis Sherry, a renowned restaurateur. He aimed to create a luxurious dining experience that would cater to the affluent clientele of the time. The restaurant was situated at 302 Fifth Avenue in the heart of Manhattan. Its prime location made it a favored destination for many influential people of the day. The interior of Sherry's exuded elegance and sophistication. It featured ornate decorations, exquisite chandeliers, marble columns, and intricate woodwork. The dining rooms all had beautiful floral arrangements and a variety of different styles to choose from, all reflecting an opulent ambiance.
The menu showcased both French and American cuisine, with a focus on gourmet dishes and delicacies. A few of the favorite menu items from Sherry's were lobster thermidor, filet mignon, oysters on the half shell, and decadent desserts like baked Alaska and creme brulee. Sherry's became a high society hotspot, known for hosting extravagant parties, banquets, and social gatherings. The restaurant's reputation for exclusivity and refinement attracted the elite of the day. Many famous personalities of the Gilded Age dined at Sherry's, such as Andrew Carnegie and even members of European royalty. At number three, we have the dining room at the Plaza Hotel. It was opened in 1907, when the Plaza Hotel first debuted. The hotel itself was founded by a group of prominent investors, and it is the Palm Court at the Plaza that is the most iconic and elegant dining space in the hotel. The space is a renowned destination for afternoon tea and offers a sophisticated and luxurious atmosphere. There is a stunning glass ceiling, intricate details throughout, and ornate decor, all exuding a grandeur beyond belief. The overall scenery creates a charming setting for socializing or enjoying a delightful meal. And the menu keeps to the same level of delicious cuisine as the restaurants and hotels we had spoken about earlier and certainly offered one of the finest dining experiences in all of New York. At number four, we have the Union Club. It stood out as a prominent restaurant and club, epitomizing the opulence and exclusivity of the era. Founded in 1836, the Union Club became a symbol of status and power. It was established by a group of wealthy individuals seeking a private space for socializing and networking. The Union Club was located at 5th Avenue and 21st Street in Manhattan, boasting an impressive building that reflected the grandeur of the time. Its interior was lavishly adorned with ornate decorations, luxurious furnishings, all in a masculine sense. The menu items included sumptuous seafood, succulent steaks, and elaborate French cuisine. The popularity of the Union Club during the Gilded Age can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, it provided a sanctuary for the wealthy and influential to socialize and network fostering connections that played a crucial role in business and politics of the day. Additionally, the prestige associated with the membership at the Union Club appealed to the wealthy elite, who sought to showcase their social standing. Numerous famous individuals of the Gilded Age frequented the Union Club, including prominent business tycoons, politicians, and socialites, including William Vanderbilt, Cornelius Vanderbilt, John D. Rockefeller, and J.P. Morgan. At number five, we have Café Martin. It was founded in the late 19th century, around the 1870s, at the time when New York City was experiencing tremendous growth and prosperity. The restaurant was established by a visionary entrepreneur aiming to cater to the refined tastes of the city's affluent residents. Situated on the corner of 26th Street and 5th Avenue, Café Martin occupied a prime location in Manhattan. This strategic placement allowed it to attract the attention of the city's elite, who always sought the finest culinary experiences in an atmosphere of luxury. The interior of Café Martin was a visual feast, designed to impress its discerning clientele. The walls boasted rich tapestries and intricate moldings, while crystal chandeliers illuminated the space with a warm and inviting glow. The seating arrangements were carefully arranged to provide comfort and privacy, ensuring an intimate dining experience. The menu at Café Martin showcased a delightful fusion of French and American cuisine, 
something that was extremely popular at the time. Some of the favored menu items of the day included fresh oysters, lobster prepared, and a variety of gourmet styles, escargot, and an array of delectable pastries and desserts. These culinary offerings catered to the refined palates of the Gilded Age elite, who always sought the finest ingredients and exquisite flavors. Café Martin gained popularity for several reasons, and it soon became a favorite destination for those seeking to showcase their social status. Overall, Café Martin exemplified the grandeur and refinement of the Gilded Age dining experience. Founded during a time of economic prosperity, prime location, luxurious interiors, a delectable menu, and association with famous personalities made it an iconic establishment, and that is why it is number five on our list. Do you agree with the five restaurants on our list? And if you could choose to dine at one, which one would it be? Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.